Rock on the Range Live from the Grunt Style Artist Lounge with 99.7 The Blitz. Hey. <laughs> Hello. So Roy from Stone Sours here. We're doing the thing. And look, I wanted to tell you something. See that little alien on the back of that computer? Yeah. That's not the camera. That's the That's camera. That's the camera? Okay. Yeah. See, I've been staring at it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so Ronnie Hunter, Hagar, and Roy he are uh, hanging out here. Rock on the range. So this is day two, but here's the deal. We had a little uh, code red this morning. It's fantastic. But we seem to have looped back around and got things under control. We're set for the Stone Sour set tonight at Rock on the Range. So let's talk a little bit about last year versus this year. Uh, last year was just a little bit different, but you guys did the Thursday night show for the us. Kickoff party, yeah. Yeah. So how did that go? Because it looked kind of packed. It was great. I mean, that was like our first time back in like four years, and it's pretty exciting for all of us. And uh, yeah, man, it's awesome. And you know, Stone Sour is kind of the. It's kind of the go-to band for Rock on the Range, you know, with you guys and Corey and stuff. Like, I like that. It is. I mean, everybody, it's so funny, no matter, in 12 years in, it's like, is Stone Sour going to be there? It's like you're the, Stone Sour is like the house band for Rock on the Range. Rock on the Range has been nothing but cool to us the whole time. I mean, like, the first time I'm playing, it was like 2013. Yep. The opening for Smashing Pumpkins. I mean, for me, that was like an epic memory. I'll never forget that. Yeah. It's really awesome. So... Roy, you guys have got uh, Hydrograd out. Things are going really great with that. Yeah. And then you did the acoustic album for Record Store Day. Talk about how you picked the songs and decided to go acoustic with that. Um, actually, Corey picked those songs. He, I guess he felt like those were the best songs to, that, that would probably represent the best representation. Yeah, it just seemed to work. We, we did them like pretty much right after, immediately after we were done. It was like, okay, here's Hydrograd and Record Store's days, d Record Store Days coming up, so let's just put that out well, right we, now and have we, it ready. We did those thinking of that, you know, it's be cool for Record Store Day, so yeah. yeah, it's awesome. And let me tell you, and I can say that probably anybody that is a fan, you guys can do anything acoustic. It could be hard, middle tempo, and it sounds amazing, every single you. thing. You know, I've actually joked, I've said, you know, Stone Sour could probably spit in a can, record it. I would buy that okay. shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gar, you got something? I mean, the new album is huge. The question that I keep coming across everywhere, not only for me, but all over the internet is, why isn't song number three the third song on the album? That's a good question. You know, let's, let's ask Corey that. Corey, why isn't song three number three on the record? Where is he? All right, he's gone. I can't all right. Well, he can I was curious, but <laughs> I, I, well, I never really thought about that. I mean, yeah, that should have been the third one, right? <laughs> <laughs> it would make too much damn sense. That's why. Yeah. So the Aussie tour is coming up. How cool is that? Man, it's a big honor, man, to be playing, opening up for Ozzy. I mean, like, it's his last tour. Yeah. I, mean, I never thought, like, ever that would happen for us. I mean, it's an honor. And, and how did that kind of come about? Did you guys just get the call? And it was call. like, okay, yep, we we're canceling whatever we had planned. Exactly. We're like, yes. Not even a hesitation. Yeah, of course. So you did have other things kind of in the works. Mm, no, I don't think so. Well, that worked out perfectly. I mean, I mean obviously, it, it's you know, months prior that the stuff gets worked on. So, right. yeah, so when we got the call, of course, we're like, yeah, of course we'll do it. I heard um, Corey had quoted something about if there weren't an Ozzy, there'd be no Corey Taylor. And I would think that would be with everybody because you guys are all such Ozzy fans, right? Oh, huge Ozzy fans. If there was no Black Sabbath or Ozzy, anything, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here today. None yeah. Of would, none of us would. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with the tour, okay, so everybody does pranks. There are always pranks on tours. Whether you're tight band buds or you don't like another band, there's always pranks. What you got planned for Ozzy? You can spill the beans uh, with us. No, no. Even if I had something planned, I wouldn't tell you. I would say you should shoot bubbles over his no. set. No, no, no. Because no. the Prince of Darkness, Sharon, can't have fucking bubbles. So you, so you're saying I should, I should channel Lawrence Welk and? Yes. Okay, all right. okay, Roy, that's a good yes, idea. you should. I will. <laughs> Cat's out of the bag. Forget about it. Yeah. Let me ask you: with all the interviews that you do, uh, radio and otherwise, or questions fans ask, is there something that you're surprised nobody ever asks about? Is there something you want to? put out there that we could talk about right now? Not really. I mean, no? You've yeah. been asked everything. I don't, you know, I really don't really sit and think about that. Really. I just answer whatever. If you ask me a question, I'll answer it. Oh, right. 
Well, here's one question okay. for you. If you were going to murder someone, what weapon would you choose? Hmm. I wouldn't murder someone. How about a zombie? I'll murder a zombie. Okay. What weapon would you choose? A knife. Yeah. That's the easiest way to go. Yeah. Rick does it. Yeah. He's so <laughs> quick. He's like Jedi ninja. Yeah. All right. So uh, to sort of follow off of Ronnie's question, another sort of off the wall, would you rather have a hamster-sized elephant or an elephant-sized hamster? An elephant-sized hamster. <laughs> elephant-sized hamster. Why? Because no one else has one. Yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> I, I don't know anyone else that has a, a hamster that large. <laughs> Right. I I don't know how to follow that up. How did you? How do you answer I that? I barely knew how to, how to answer that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I haven't met anyone who knows how to answer it. So beyond beyond the Ozfest or not Ozfest, but the Aussie Stone Sour tour, what do you guys kind of have in the works? Is there some because this is like the first record without Jim Rude and stuff. So mm -hmm. have you guys continued to write some more further beyond Hydrograd or whatever? Not yet. I mean, we've just been busy touring this whole year. I mean, seriously, today is a year that we've been out. So all we've been doing is just touring and touring and touring. I mean, I think Christian, like he he spends time like on his days off, like writing stuff like that. But we haven't really, you know, individually written anything for the next record so i mean i'm sure we'll we'll be like messing around with that in the next couple of years when we have off so but for now we're just touring is the is the writing process with you guys such that you all kind of come up with little things at, on your own and then you just kind of bring them together yeah. and you sort of we're a collective sort of has, yeah we get together in my my house and my studio and i'll mic everybody up and hit record and we'll just record live see how it goes and, it you know. seems like it's a real organic way to do it as opposed yeah. to really forcing a group of people to get together and just write stuff you know yeah yeah it, it, it's a process that's that's working for us so we're going to yeah. stick with it yeah. well we thank you for your time all right roy stone sour i keep looking at that damn alien dude i can't <laughs> would you just put a piece of tape over that thing <laughs> so take me roy, to your stone leader sour they are out the show tonight. They're going to be on the Monster main stage. Monster. Coffee. Yes. Uh, as we broadcast live from the Grunt Style Blitz Lounge here in the uh, artist area, which is cool. Yeah. Hoping that Mother Nature isn't a bitch anymore for the rest of the weekend. Yes, Again, Roy. please. Be yes. nice to us. Yes. We want to play. We want to make everybody happy. You know, I did make a blood pact with Mother Nature. You and did? now I get to keep my blood because she screwed it all up. <laughs> Broadcasting live with right. our friends from Stone Sour, Roy, and the Grunt Style Artist Stage with the Blitz. Hey, Gar and Ronnie. Peace out. <laughs>